see what we got out here today. Woo! They're fucking amazing, right? My daughter is so unfiltered. Let's just talk about that for a second, okay? My daughter and I, she's five, her name's Scarlett. We go to the store and we see this man who's missing quite a bit of teeth. You can tell he was definitely on some hardcore drugs in his past. And she goes up to him and she's like, where'd your teeth go? Did the tooth fairy come? <laughs> and he just like brushed it off and like walked away and I'm like, Scarlett, that's what happens when you eat too many chicken nuggets and don't eat your vegetables. And she's like, I was like, yeah, yeah. And he was a really bad boy and he didn't let the dentist clean his teeth so they all started falling out. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm like, yeah. It's true, it's true. And the tooth fairy won't bring you money unless you clean your room every day and he'll bring you extra money <laughs> if you wash mommy's car every day. <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna do all of that. I'm like, you know what? Cheers to Mother of the Year Award. <laughs> so uh, speaking of Mother of the Year Award, who knows what an IUD is? <laughs> Woo! Raise your hand if you don't know what an IUD is. Anyone? Anyone? Alright, so we're all on the same page. Good. Because I don't want to say that second part I was going to say. So I go to get one, put it. And it's funny how doctors like try to make the most uncomfortable situations sound like so professional. Like my doctor was like, once we insert the IUD into your uterus, it's going to make it an unsafe environment for sperm. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool, because that's totally why I'm here anyways. I don't even want any kids after, but like one is, is great, any more than that, don't do it, it's unsafe, guys. Um, so then, after that, after she put it in, I started thinking like, I just solved the ultimate solution here for us ladies on how to stop unconsensual sex. What we can do is we can advance these IUD technologies, you know, because they sound like landmines anyways, like IUD, who the fuck came up with that idea? <laughs> or it sounds like some sort of like landmine or something that's kind of like explosive device. So let's advance those technologies. Let's install a panic button inside of us. And we can press this panic button when we are getting violated, and once we press it, little needles of chloroform will just shoot right into the people, <laughs> they'll pass out, and then we can do one of two things. We can either call the cops, or we can get super gangster on them, and throw Joey Arias on his ass, right? <laughs> How's she doing anyways? I've been wondering, uh, what's up with her? Like, what's she doing? I wonder how her t-shirt thing is thriving, you know? <laughs> so, um, kind of going off of this, another thing, how many single people do we have out here tonight? Woo! 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 Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, yes! Now raise your hand, and let's be honest, this is a no-judge room. Raise your hand if you've tried a dating app. <laughs> no shame, no shame, no shame. Okay, biggest mistake. Because I figured, okay, you know what? My friend was trying to talk me into it. I was like, I'll give it a shot. You know, if it doesn't work out, then at least I'll come up with some really good comedy material off of these conversations because guys can be kind of ridiculous. Sorry, not sorry. Guys, girls too, you know, so I'm not trying to be, you know. But, anyways, yeah. so. Things went well with a few guys, but then there was this one guy who was, I can't even remember his name, it was terrifying that I can't remember his name, and I'll explain why. Because first, it started off, he was really nice, we had normal conversations, started exchanging tasteful selfies, and then, out of nowhere, this guy decides to send me a picture of himself, butt naked, up against a chair, <laughs> and he's like, how does that look? <laughs> and I was like, um, that looks nice, I guess. Looks 
some of you work out a lot. I don't know. Like, this was really awkward for me, and this took an awkward turn. And then, hold on to your seats, people, because this right here was his deal closer. He then sends me a picture of his ginormous purple strap on oh. <laughs> and says to me, What will it take for you to put this on and fuck me? <laughs> I was like, Are you serious? Or is this, are you joking? And he's like, he went crazy on me, obviously, this guy was serious. And I'm like, you know what? Even if I was into this idea of pegging you, I would feel very uncomfortable being in a situation where I'm naked with a strap on with this combative, crazy man who might just like beat the shit out of me. Like, who wants to be in that position? Do you want to? No. No. Do you? No. No. I guarantee you, no one in this room wants to be in that position. Because it is awkward. Is that the light to go or just one minute light? One minute light? Alright, so one minute light. I got one minute left. Where should I close out with? Guys? No. Let's talk about hailstorms. Because <laughs> there's been some crazy ones lately, okay? Let me tell you guys a true story that I had about a couple. Raise your hand if you're married. Woo! Woo! Marriage is wonderful. So let me just explain to you how marriage works, okay? I take this call, this lady calls in, and she is hysterical because Colorado Springs had a record breaking hailstorm where there was hail the size of softballs and larger. Four inches and larger, people. This is huge. And they specifically on the news told them, do not go outside during this storm. What did she do? She calls in and she's like, I don't know what to do. I told my husband to go outside and put a candy over the cars because they're almost paid off and I didn't want them to get ruined. And now he's just laying in the street. He didn't want to help I told him to. And he's like, no, I know what I'm doing. And I can't lift him. And I'm like, why are you calling your insurance company? Like, why didn't you call the paramedics? Like, this poor saint of a husband goes outside to do this absurd request of his wife to put a fucking canopy over cards like, like softball slides, you know, they can go right through that too. And now, he's passed out on his own driveway that he fucking paid for. <laughs> getting hit, continuing to get hit by softball size hail. She's on the phone bitching like, I told him. This is an important lesson for you guys, okay? All the couples out there, men, this is what you have to look forward to after 40 years of marriage. And ladies, if he pisses you off and there just so happens to be a meal start, send his ass outside. <laughs> <laughs>